Welcome guys to an exciting game, uh, probably one of the most exciting matches that uh, we've ever seen. This is the finals of Netrunner's 2013 Gen Con National Championships. We have Jimmy Risk on the right, Jessica Kopinski on the left. I'm Steven. And I'm Robert. And we're uh, just so stoked to be here seeing this, uh, this game and just seeing these players go at it. We have HP Engineering the Future, no surprises, against Kate uh, on the left there, played by Justin. And as you might imagine, uh, it's going to be an intense game. I think we can expect uh, Justin to play some Ottman, because uh, we've seen him in the prelims. And then we have uh, really an HP fast advance deck over played by Jimmy. So uh, we're just going to see, see these guys go at it. I'm quite curious if, uh, if Jimmy can find a counter to Justin's Ottmans, which have just been running all over everyone. It's, it's quite intimidating, i got to say. Um, so we're going to install over R&D, install over HQ, and then gain a credit. Hitting the old ice wall on R&D for uh, first click of Justin, second click, hitting a wall <laughs> of static. Hello Barriers, this is what they're good at. Uh, they in the run. Do you know that? They do Stop. in the run. Stop. Daily cast from Justin there. Uh, one of his obviously favorite economy cards, and not a bad choice anyway. And then self-modifying code. Going out there, and man, that is a beautiful card because it now means that Justin can get an, a barrier breaker anytime he wants, or he'll get an Ottman and uh, put it at whatever strength he wants. But this actually gonna have to make a choice if he uses that, uh, since we got a one strength and a three strength ice wall or uh, wall static and ice wall. Jimmy install on the on the remote there and icing it up. Here's the Viper. We're gonna see some traces go off here. And with no credits, Justin's just going to lose the credit or lose the click and in the run. So that remote is currently safe. And with a four strength, three strength, and one strength piece of ice, uh, gets a little interesting for Ottman here. <clears throat> he goes in, beats the in the run trace, and sees the Adonis. No big deal. He's going to draw a card. Back over. We've got a card draw because he has to. And self-modifying code, not really. And archives, and then going to gain credits for the remainder of the turn. And it uh, looks like Jimmy kind of planning against Ottman here, really knowing how to play it. Professional contacts coming out. We're going to hit that, I can only assume, quite a few times. <clears throat> so first gain a credit, draw. Second gain a credit, draw. And then finally, there's the data sucker. All right, and interesting now, you see Jimmy's already uh, iced up his remote. You go ahead and res the Adonis campaign at the start of this turn. Technically at the end of Justin's start of the turn, he'll gain three off of it, and he'll draw his card. And the race is on. No free archives run, no good R&D run, no good HQ run, and now we're just drawing. Jimmy drawing a bunch of cards, and putting an ice down to gain a credit off Engineering the Future. And back over to Justin. First action, he's going to draw and gain a credit from Professional Contacts. See some dirty laundry in hand there. Gains his money off Daily Cast. And more Professional Contacts. Uh, Justin, really one of the key players of this card. I have i didn't see it really on the day terribly much, but uh, he's a huge fan and it makes a lot of sense for this deck. And then Katie comes out and gets three put on her, so the economy is flowing. And we're going to see if we can maybe sneak an agenda in here. Can it install, gain one? Can a biotic labor? Yep. We're just going to knock one out here. Let's see what it is. It is Gila Hands. Going to increase the economy of uh, Jimmy quite significantly now. It's a very good start for him. Justin really not able to get in yet. And really going to have to think about how he's going to approach this. Uh, even if you get an Ottman out, what strength do you put it at? Probably got to put it at one to get through. There's the Desperado, the uh, what I've come to know as the Kopinski Sweet uh, Desperado data sucker, and then sure to see some Ottmans. Running archives, no res on the ice, taking advantage of the low credit count of Jimmy, and coming back over to Jimmy, he's gaining his credits for Adonis campaign, and that one data sucker token is very significant. Allows us to put a uh, three strength Ottman out and have access to the hand into that remote if necessary. Question here what do you do as this Corp? You've got Gila hands out. Do you throw a remote down? Try to score an agenda out? 
We've got an unres piece of ice there, so with self-modifying code, uh, Atman can be whatever strength at once, essentially. And that's very significant. And that remote is not safe until there's two pieces of ice. So an upgrade going in that server. And then gaining three for Gilehands. So, <clears throat> man, HB insane with what they can do. Gaining three off Gilehands and one for installing. What? Amon comes out on uh, on Jimmy's turn to make use of Kate's ability. It is a once per turn ability. That does apply to your opponent's turn as well. And since self-modifying does not take any clicks, it can be done in that window. And we're going to see what strength he puts that Atman at ultimately. This is a, a good learning experience for me personally. I'm curious what he's going to go on this one. And... Could be at zero. Draw. Gain credit. And then we're going to dirty laundry R&D. Minus one, making it zero, breaking it for one, gaining a bunch of credits and getting the data sucker token back. And scoring a Vitruvius. Mm, didn't use the token. Must be a, I'm a must be at one. Justin hasn't really marked it. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Thought we caught him. So he's going to do it again. Take another peek. And Desperado and Data Sucker essentially just evening out. So these are just free runs. And three more on Katie. So we're getting the last three off Adonis. Getting Jimmy some serious money. Drawing a card because it's necessary. And you kind of got to wonder, do you try to draw out and get these biotic labors going? The remote is a lot safer now since uh, that Otman has been revealed. It would take another Otman or another code to get in there. Well done, advancing the ice wall twice, essentially shutting R&D off. Beautiful little play there. We'll see if there's an answer. We've got a clone chip. And it looks like we're running the remote. Gonna have to have to res that ice. There's the Ichi. Boy, that's a great piece to see here, except for the clicks. This is the problem with HB ice. We're just gonna check it out, see what he's gonna do here. Clone chip is going to bring self-modifying code in. Self-modifying code is going to turn into what I can only imagine is an Otman. And we're seeing the true beauty of shapers here. True beauty of shapers. You can just have anything whenever you want it. <clears throat> Otman comes in with four on. That's going to roll right through that Ichi. Nasty. 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 <laughs> Yes, it is. It's crazy to be able to just break right through. Just get anything you want. One clone chip equals an Otman. One self-modifying code equals an Otman. One Otman equals an Otman. Talk about consistency. All right, deck is cut, and we're going to blow right through there. Uh, Otman in on three. I apologize. I said four. He made the right choice there. Put it on three. It gives him access to HQ as well. Having to use that data sucker token though. And it's an Adonis, not what Justin wanted to see. Getting one for Desperado. And now the data sucker is dry. And that could be an issue here. Jimmy might be able to break out of this one. He can't get into R&D still with that three strength Otman. And he's gonna do it. Getting that data sucker token back. And ah, what a score. Man, R&D just being ruthless today. Just ruthless. Jimmy, what's happening, man? So we got four points over here on uh, Justin's side to one point over here on Jimmy's side. But he's really, he's he's doing the best he can, I think, to, to fight this off. Those were some good pulls. I mean, you can't argue with, uh, with those. Wow. And so really having to reconsider here, trying to think about how best to do this. And pumping that ice wall looks awfully good. If you can keep him out of archives and HQ, it's just so hard. Yeah. You gotta keep him out of everything. And we thought noise was bad. <laughs> I've got ice archives and R&D and HQ, and now you, you gotta do that for Altman, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's just 
this Crypsis on steroids. Yeah, it's insane. So we've got just a gain of some cash. And we got a point run, looks like, or at least a point. Justin saying, hey, what is that? What's down there? Boom. And the R&D run says, yeah, nothing. Just a wall. Just a barrier. <clears throat> Run an HQ to take a look. Getting another data sucker token. That's a nice. essential. Whoa, and geez. pulling the other agenda. Hands are on fire this game. Crazy. My goodness. Run an HQ again. Trying to do it here. Man. That's nuts. And three more on Katie. Just has been pulling him hard. And it uh, looks like he had decent odds there because there is one being scored out here. Mm -hmm. That's going to be an accelerated beta test. So three to six right now. Can Justin seal this thing? Well, he's got a wide open HQ and R&D door. Uh, man, I don't know. you got to check them both, of course. And is that it? No. Justin made the, uh, that's mine motion. I've, I've become familiar with it over these games. But not quite yet. Do you run HQ again? I don't know. Just scored two out of hand. Probably doesn't have any more. Run an arc or run an HQ. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Saw that Enigma again. Not really worth much to him. Three more on Katie. And let's go ahead and trash that sand sand. We say. <laughs> <clears throat> why? Why not? You know. It's only gonna help him. Trashing the sand sand. Probably not worrying about breaking the. Uh, Breaking the lose the click subroutine because it's your last click. That's one of the beauties of running on your last click. You don't care about that subroutine. And Jimmy drawn in. Looks like I got a green level clearance going down. I'm gaining some cash and a card. And man, it's it's a bit of a race here. I ultimately it favors uh, Justin. With that sand sand now gone, we've already seen one biotic labor, so it's going to take a lot to score him out in time. Only three points. Probably going to need to score two more agendas to get out of here. And uh, Justin just needing to see one. Pretty insane. I'm reminded of the uh, NBA Jam sound, sound effects whenever Justin kept pulling those agendas. He's on fire. The nail in the coffin. Archive memories, what are we getting? Probably that sand sand, maybe. Didn't get the sand sand back, but he doesn't have any money to really utilize it. In the biotic, biotic. back, mm -hmm. better choice probably. But does he have the cash to utilize that? Is the question. All right, he's gonna gain a credit at least. Hey, odds for HQ first run in R and D, nothing. Are we gonna take a peek at HQ here? I and mean, we know there's an agenda in there. He got the biotic. May have been a tell that there was an agenda in there. Could also be a fake. I think I've seen uh, the pet project in there though. Which would be nice for that sand sand. HQ again. There's the biotic. And three on Katie. Okay, so the card comes in, and we're going to see. Install. Gain one. Biotic. And then all three. So scores it out for the pet project. And I imagine we're going to see a uh, sand sand coming in here. Can we take a look. If nothing else, it's five credits, right? San San Adonis. And then potentially two pieces a uh, piece of ice from hand, maybe? Maybe they that Enigma, if nothing else. Roto turret? No, nothing. Nothing. Just a root. <clears throat> R&D coming in? Nothing yet. Draw again a credit. I'm going to take the cash off Katie. And running the remote, gonna go ahead and get rid of that sand sand and Adonis, maybe both preemptively. Get rid of the sand sand. Adonis <laughs> stays. You can res it. Waste waste one money. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't even have the money to res it. Poor HB. Really good question here. What do you do? Jimmy's drawing his thing. He's going to gain...
credits for Gilehans. And then he's out. R&D says no. Going back to the deck here. And more money, more money. More cards, more cards. At this point, until Jimmy really starts drawing past his initial card, there's not much reason to uh, to run anything but R&D. I think digging for an R&D interface here is not a bad idea, which I believe is what Justin's doing. That would really put, put this game into over territory. <laughs> you notice that ice isn't even really being bothered with at this point. It's just kind of a uh, fruitless endeavor for the court. And trashing some cards. So R&D still has not given it up. It's only a matter of time here. Run an HQ. It's got to be somewhere, you got to think, right? Trash the melange. Probably going to run HQ again. Desperado, what a what a console. Yeah, going into HQ again. Seeing the biotic. Never seen so many virus counters on the data sucker before. Yeah, tons, tons of tons of virus counters. Really, only needing two Ottomans here too, and and has a clone chip, totally ready to go get the third if necessary. Clone chip in hand, but I mean, you have ice, then you can break all of it. So mm -hmm. why bother? Why bother? Gila hands for some cash and uh, gain a credit. All right, drawn, gain a credit. There's the R&D interface. Finally. Woo. Now things are interesting. And now we're getting to... I don't see how this doesn't end almost immediately. There it is. There it is, yep. All right, so, wow. That was a, quick. What an assault. Two really excellent players. I, I think Jimmy kind of got in a position where just some bad pulls off R&D early really slowed him down and, and didn't allow him to get his agendas out. So we're going to go to the next game. At least we did have four points scored on the HP side, so pressure's on. Uh, can Justin either win the game with Jinteki or score four points plus with Jinteki? We're going to see and uh, stick with us, if you uh, wouldn't mind. We're going to go to the graph here to show kind of how this game actually looked, if you were a cyborg uh, watching it. It is an early score by Jimmy, and pretty much from then on, we have some really good pulls by Justin. The two around the six-minute mark, then we got up to four points right before the 10 minute mark and then right after that we have the six points followed by a quick score uh, by Jimmy going to three you notice the credits pretty flat here for both of these guys uh, you notice that Jimmy goes down to zero credits to score out that accelerated beta test get him to four points and uh, after that it was kind of a slow climb and uh, Justin just right there ready to score agendas so that's the tail of the tape we're gonna catch you guys in the next game the final game of the finals we're going to see if truly Justin Jinteki can take this thing home. Join us then.